Hello everyone and very warm welcome to your channel. I am quite excited to share with you this new quantization technique from Microsoft which is called as VPTQ. In this video, instead of jumping into machine learning mumbo jumbo, I am going to explain in very simple words what is quantization, what are different techniques and why this VPTQ seems so promising. Not only that, we won't just stick to the theory, I will also be showing you as how you can get this VPTQ installed locally and then how you can do inference with the models that has been quantized by this VPTQ. So let's get started. So now first up, what is quantization? Quantizing a model means compressing a model. So what happens is that when we quantize a model, it means that we are reducing the size of that model while trying to preserve the performance of the model. Model is normally represented in floating point numbers with 32 bits. When we quantize the model, then we represent the model in terms of bits in fewer bits that significantly reduces memory capacity and hard disk storage requirements. For instance, you have seen me running models with OLAMA locally. These OLAMA models are quantized models because they have been represented in fewer bits. That is why we are able to run even LAMA 3.2 model, which is quite a big model, but in a quantized format, it size gets reduced so it is just around 4 gig or just under 4 gig we can download it we can run it on 4 gb vram and in some cases if you have plenty of ram maybe on cpu so that is the purpose of quantization that it represents the model in fewer bits which means that it size gets reduced and we can run it on commodity hardware Various quantization techniques have appeared over the last few years and especially during the one last year including post-training quantization or PTQ, scalar quantization and vector quantization and the list goes on and on and on. I have discussed most of these techniques already like AWQ, GPTQ and AQLM and the, as I said the list goes on and on and they are quite good. but the problem with these is that they struggle with extremely low bit levels. While VQ faces challenges in maintaining accuracy, efficient execution and dequantization overhead, this new technique VPTQ which stands for Vector Post Training Quantization addresses these limitations. So what it does is it offers a lightweight and efficient approach for extreme low bit weight quantization. VPTQ formulates the quantization problem as an optimization problem and employs channel independent second order optimization to guide the quantization algorithm design. So don't worry, I know it's, it was a mouthful. In simple words, what is happening is that this VPTQ is transforming the quantization process into a experimental or heuristic algorithm to solve the optimization problem efficiency and it utilizes an effective cookbook initialization algorithm to reduce the training and update the overhead. That is all it is doing. If you want to know more technical detail, so in VPTQ, all weights in every linear operator of the model are quantized into an index and code books. During model inference, the weight matrix is dequantized by reading centroids from the codebook according to the index before executing the operator. This approach achieves state-of-the-art accuracy result in on extremely low bit LLM, reducing model quantization perplexity and improves accuracy in QA text. Additionally, VPTQ requires significantly less quantization algorithm overhead and has low dequantization overhead that results in improved inference throughput. Overall, VPTQ provides an efficient and effective solution for quantizing large language model and there is more detail around benchmarking and its definition in this GitHub report. I will highly encourage you to read this. Before I move forward and give you a gist of it and we 
see a hands-on demo, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Also, they are running this Hacktober 2024, so you can submit your LLM generated entries there. I will be one of the judges, so uh, feel free to enter, which is free and enjoy. Now, let's try to get this thing installed and then we will see how it works. So remember, what this VPTQ is doing, it is leveraging vector quantization to higher accuracy on LLMs at an extremely low bit width. VPTQ can compress 70 billion model, even the 405 billion model to 1 to 2 bits without retraining and maintaining high accuracy. That is all it is doing. Okay, so let's go to my local system where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 courtesy masked compute. And you don't really need that much GPU. And while I will be loading the model, I will also show you a rough estimate of the VRAM used. Let me clear the screen. First up, let me create a virtual environment with Python and Conda. So let's wait for it to get installed. Shouldn't take too long. And that is all done. Next up, let's install all the stuff like Torch, Transformers, Accelerate. And at the third line, I'm also installing VPTQ from source from Microsoft's GitHub repo. And I will drop the link to it in video's description. Let's wait. This is going to take a couple of minutes. So let's see. It is still building the wheel for VPTQ and this is going to take big time. So let's wait for it. Meanwhile, that happens. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of this video, which are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily, and at scale. You can use the Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. AgentQL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, let's check it out. It is still running. And I think it is going to take a fair bit of time. So let's wait because it is just building it, compiling it with the CUDA version and make sure that you have CUDA 12.1 installed. Otherwise it won't work. I believe it is only compatible with that version. So it took around 30 minutes to compile it. But anyway, everything is installed now. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's launch our Jupyter Notebook and then we will play it in the uh, Jupyter Notebook. So let me run it and I will see you in the browser. This is going to take a minute. So this is the notebook environment. We have already installed it. Let's import the VPTQ, Transformers, Torch and then I am just getting this uh, Coin 2.57 billion instruct model but in this VPTQ format. And then we are just getting the model for from the auto model for causal LM. So let me run it. It is downloading the model and also its tokenizer. So the model is being downloaded. The size is just over 4 gig. And if you go to the actual models page on Hugging Face and check out its size, the actual model, the full model is just close to 12 gig. But with this low bit extreme quantization, the size is just around, as I said, uh, 4 gig or so. So pretty good result, I would say. So the model is downloaded in this VPTQ format. And now in order to do the inference, all you need to do is to just run it, it like this, where we are providing the input to, to the tokenizer. We are generating the output from the model and then we are printing it out. It's a simple, similar sort of inference which we can do. And this is just the completion we are doing. And there you go. So you can see that we just have given it a very famous uh, poem by Dylan Thomas. 
and it has completed it perfectly well also telling us what this poem is all about and stuff and the point to be noted here is that despite of this extreme quantization it has maintained its accuracy so it has it's not hallucinating it's not printing out a gibberish for us so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about it and if you want to learn more about quantization just search with quantization on my channel and you, should, you will find a lot of quantization videos as how to quantize a model and a lot of other stuff I'm, I'm more than sure you will find what you are looking for and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network thank you for watching